I am Ezine Okelu from AFTV Studios, Houston, Texas. Sight and Sound is a daily devotional Bible presentation that brings the Word of God to you. As the scripture says in Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Please listen or read along with us. Exodus chapter 26. Make the tabernacle with ten curtains of finely twisted linen and blue, purple and scarlet yarn, with cherubim woven into them by a skilled worker. All the curtains are to be the same size, 28 cubit long and 4 cubit wide. Join five of the curtains together and do the same with the other five. Make loops of blue material along the edge of the end cutting in one set and do the same with the end cutting in the other set. Make 50 loops on one cutting and 50 loops on the end cutting of the other set with the loops opposite each other. Then make 50 gold clasps and use them to fasten the cutting together so that the tabernacle is a unit. Make curtains of goat hair for the tent over the tabernacle, 11 all together. All 11 curtains are to be the same size, 30 cubit long and 4 cubit wide. Join five of the curtains together into one set and the other six into another set. Fold the sixth curtain double at the end of the tent. Make 50 loops along the edge of the end curtain in one set and also along the edge of the end curtain in the other set. Then make 50 bronze claps and put them in the loops to fasten the tent together as a unit. As for the additional length of the tent curtains, the half curtain that is left over is to hang down at the rear of the tabernacle. The tent curtains will be a cubit longer on both sides. What is left to hang over the sides of the tabernacle so as to cover it. Make for the tent a covering of ram skin dyed red, and over that a covering of the other durable leather. Make upright frames of acacia wood for the tabernacle. Each frame is to be 10 cubit long and a cubit and a half wide, with two projections set parallel to each other. Make all the frames of the tabernacle in this way. Make 20 frames for the south side of the tabernacle and make 40 silver bases to go under them. Two bases for each frame, one under each projection. For the other side, the north side of the tabernacle, make 20 frames and 40 silver bases, two under each frame. Make six frames for the far end that is the west end of the tabernacle and make two frames for the corner at the far end. At these two corners, they must be double from the bottom all the way to the top and fitted into a single ring. Both shall be like that. So there will be eight frames and 16 silver bases, two under each frame, and also crossbar of acacia wood. Five for the frames on one side of the tabernacle, five for those on the other side, and five for the frames on the west, at the far end of the tabernacle. The center crossbar is to extend from end to end at the middle of the frames. Overlay the frames with gold and make gold ring to hold the crossbar. Also overlay the crossbars with gold. Set up the tabernacle according to the plan shown you on the mountain. Make a coffin of blue, purple, scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen with cherubim woven into it by a scaled worker. Hang it with gold hooks on four posts of acacia wood overlaid with gold and standing on four silver bases. Hang the curtain from the claps and uh, place the Ark of the Covenant law behind the curtain. The curtain will separate the holy place from the most holy place. 
put the atonement cover on the ark of the covenant law in the most holy place. Place the table outside the curtain on the north side of the tabernacle and put the lampstand opposite it on the south side. For the entrance to the tent, make curtain of blue, purple and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer. Make gold hook for this curtain and five posts of archaea wood overlaid with gold and cast five bronze bases for them. Exodus chapter 27 Build an altar of acacia wood, three cubits high. It is to be square, five cubits long, five cubits wide. Make a horn at each of the four corners, so that the horns and the altar are of one piece, and overlay the altar with bronze. Make all its utensils of bronze, its pots to remove the ashes, and its shovels sprinkling bow, meat forks and fire pans. Make a grating for it, a bronze network, and make a bronze ring at each of the four corners of the network. Put it under the ledge of the altar so that it is halfway up the altar. Make poles of acacia wood for the altar and overlay them with bronze. The poles are to be inserted into the ring so that they will be on two sides of the altar when it is carried. Make the altar hollow out of boards. It is to be made just as you were shown on the mountain. Make a courtyard for the tabernacle. The south side shall be a hundred cubit long and is to have cordings of finely twisted linen with twenty posts and twenty bronze bases and with a silver hook and bands on the post. The north side shall also be a hundred cubit long and is to have curtains with twenty posts and twenty bronze bases and with silver hooks and bands on the post. The west end of the courtyard shall be fifty cubit wide and half curtains with ten posts and ten bases. On the east end towards the sunrise, the courtyard shall also be fifty cubit wide. Curtains 15 cubit long are to be on one side of the entrance with three posts and three bases. And curtain 15 cubit long are to be on the other side with three posts and three bases. For the entrance to the courtyard, provide a curtain 20 cubit long of blue, purple, scarlet yarn, and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer with four posts and four bases. All the posts around the courtyard are to have silver bands and hooks and bronze bases. The courtyard shall be a hundred cubit long, fifty cubit wide, with curtains of finely twisted linen, five cubit high and with bronze bases. All the other articles used in the service of the tabernacle, whatever their function, including all the fence, Pegs for it and those for the courtyard are to be of bronze. Command the Israelite to bring you clear oil of pressed olives for the light so that the lamp may be kept burning. In the tent of meeting, outside the curtain that shows the ark of the covenant law, Aaron and his sons are to keep the lamp burning before the Lord from evening till morning. This is to be a lasting ordinance among the Israelites for the generations to come. Exodus chapter 28 Have Aaron your brother brought to you from among the Israelites along with his sons Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Itamar so that they may serve as priests. Make sacred garments for your brother Aaron to give him dignity and honor. Tell all the skilled workers to whom I have given wisdom in such matter, so that they are to make garments for Aaron for his consecration, so that he may serve me as a priest. These are the garments they are to make, a breast piece, an effort, a robe, a woven tunic, a turban, and a sash. 
They are to make this sacred garment for your brother Aaron and his son, so they may serve me as priests. Have them use gold and blue, purple and scarlet yarn and fine linen. Make the effort of gold and of blue, purple and scarlet yarn and of the finely twisted linen, the work of scaled hands. It is to have two shoulder pieces attached to two of its corners so it can be fastened. Its carefully woven waistband is to be like it, of one piece with the effort and made with gold and with blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and with the finely twisted linen. Make two oil stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel. In the order of their birth, six names on one stone and the remaining six on the other. Engrave the names of the sons of Israel on the two stones, the way a gem cutter engraves a seal. Then mount the stone in gold fig, figure satin, and fasten them on the shoulder pieces of the ephrod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel. Aaron is to bear the name on his shoulders as a memorial before the Lord. Make gold filigree settings and two braided chains of pure gold like a robe and attach the chain to the setting. Fashion a breast piece for making decision, the work of skilled hands. Make it like a, the effort of gold and of blue, purple and scarlet yarn and of finely twisted linen. It is to be square a span long and a span wide, and folded double. Then mount four rows of precious stones on it. The first row shall be carnelian, kyrocyte, and burial. The second row shall be turquoise, lapis lazuli, and emerald. The third row shall be jacinth, agate, amethyst. The fourth row shall be turbas, oins, and jasper. Mount them in gold filled gris satin. There are to be twelve stones, one for each of the names of the sons of Israel, each engraved like a seal with the name of one of the twelve tribes. For the breast piece, make braided chains of pure gold like a rope. Make two gold rings for it and fasten them to two corners of the breastplate. Fasten the two gold chains to the ring at the corner of the breastplate and the other end of the chain to the two settings, attaching them to the shoulder pieces of the effort at the front. Make two gold rings and attach them to the other two corners of the breast piece on the inside edge next to the effort. Make two more gold rings and attach them to the bottom of the shoulder piece on the front of the effort, close to the seam, just above the west band of the effort. The rings of the breast piece are to be tied to the rings of the effort with blue cord, connecting it to the west band so that the breast piece will not swing out of the effort. Whenever Aaron enters the holy place, he will bear the name of the sons of Israel over his heart on the breast piece of decision as a continuing memorial before the Lord. Also put the Urim and the Tumim in the breast piece so they may be over Aaron's heart whenever he enters the presence of the Lord. Thus Aaron will end, always bear the means of making decision for the Israelites over his heart before the Lord. Make the robe of the effort entirely of blue cloth with an opening for the head in its center. There shall be a woven edge like a collar around the opening so that it will not tear. Make pomegranates of blue, purple scarlet yarn around the hem of the robe, with gold bells between them. The gold bells and the pomegranates are to alternate around the hem of the robe. Aaron must wear it when he ministers. The sound of the bell will be heard when he enters the place before the Lord and when he comes out, so that he will not die. Make a plate of pure gold and a grave on it, as on a seal, holy to the Lord. Fasten a blue cord to it to attach it to the turban. It is to be on the front of the turban. It will be on Aaron's forehead, and he will bear the guilt involved in the sacred gift the Israelites consecrate. Whatever their gift may be, 
it will be on Aaron's forehead continually so that they will be acceptable to the Lord. With the tunic of fine linen and make the turban of fine linen. The sash is to be the work of an embroiderer. Make tunics, sashes, and caps for Aaron's son to give them dignity and honor. After you put these clothes on your brother Aaron and his sons, anoint and ordain them. Consecrate them so they may serve as a pr priest. Make linen undergarments as a covering for the body, reaching from the waist to the tie. Aaron and his sons must wear them whenever they enter the tent of meeting or approach the altar to minister in the holy place so that they will not incur guilt and die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants. Exodus chapter 29. This is what you are to do to consecrate them so that they may serve me as a priest. Take a young bull and two rams without defect and from the finest wheat flour made round loaves without yeast. Thick loaves without yeast and with olive oil mixed in and thin loaves without yeast and brush, brushed with olive oil. Put them in a basket and present them along with the bull and the two rams. Then bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance to the tent of meeting and wash them with water. Take the garment and dress Aaron with the tunic, the robe of the effort, the effort itself and the breast piece. Fasten the effort on him by its, its skillfully woven waistband. Put the turban on his head and attach the sacred emblem to the turban. Take the anointing oil, anoint him by pouring it on his head. Bring his son and dress them in tunics and fasting caps on them. Then tie sashes on Aaron and his sons. The priesthood is theirs by a lasting ordinance. Then you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. Bring the bull to the front of the tent of meeting and Aaron and his son shall lay their hands on its head. Slaughter it in the Lord's presence at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Take some of the bull's blood and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger and pour out the rest of it at the base of the altar. Then take all the fat of the internal organs and the long robe of the liver and both kidneys with the fat on them and burn them on the altar. But burn the bull's flesh and its hide and its intestines outside the camp. It is a sin offering. Take one of the rams, and Aaron and his son shall lay their hand on its head. Slaughter it and take the blood and splash it against the altar of the sides of the altar. Cut the ram into pieces and wash the internal organs and the legs putting them with the head and the other pieces. Then burn the entire ram on the order. It is a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. Take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hand on its head. Slaughter it. Take some of his blood and put it on the lobes of the right ear of Aaron and his sons and on the thumbs of their right hand and on the big toes of their right leg. Then splash blood against the sides of the altar and take some blood from the altar and some of the anointing oil and sprinkle it on Aaron and his garments and on his sons and their garments. Then he and his son and their garments will be consecrated. Take from his ram the fat, the fat tail, the fat on the internal organ, the long lobe of the liver, both kidneys with the fat on them, and the right thigh. This is the ram for the ordination. From the basket of bread made without yeast, which is before the Lord, take one round loaf, one thick loaf with olive oil mixed in, and one thin loaf. Put all these in the hand of Aaron and his sons, and have them wave them before the Lord as a wave offering. 
Then take them from their hand and burn them on the altar along with the burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord, a food offering presented to the Lord. After you take the breast of the ram for Aaron's ordination, wave it before the Lord as a wave offering, and it will be your share. Consecrate those parts of the ordination ram that belongs to Aaron and his sons, the breast that was waved and the tie that was presented. This is always to be the perpetual share from Israelites for Aaron and his sons. It is the contribution the Israelites are to make to the Lord from their fellowship offering. Aaron's sacred garment will belong to his descendants so that they can be anointed and, anointed and ordained in them. The son who succeeds him as priest and comes to the tent of meeting to minister in the holy place is to wear them seven days. Take the ram for the ordination and cook the meat in a sacred place. At the entrance to the tent of meeting, Aaron and his sons are to eat the meat of the ram and the bread that is in the basket. They are to eat this offering by which atonement was made for their ordination and consecration, but no one else may eat them because they are sacred. And if any of the meat of the ordination ram and any bread is left over till morning, burn it up. It's, it must not be eaten because it is sacred. Do for Aaron and his sons everything I have commanded you, taking seven days to ordain them. Sacrifice a bull each day as a sin offering to make atonement. Purify the altar by making atonement for it and anoint it to consecrate it. For seven days, make atonement for the altar and consecrate it. Then the altar will be most holy and whatever touches it will be holy. This is what you are to offer on the altar regularly each day. Two lambs a year. Offer one in the morning and the other at twilight. With the first lamb, offer a tenth of the ephah of the finest flour mixed with a quarter of hin of oil from pressed olives and a quarter of hin of wine as a drink offering. Sacrifice the other lamb at twilight with the same grain offering and its drink offering as in the morning, a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. For the generations to come, this burnt offering is to be made regularly at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. There I will meet you and speak to you. There also I will meet with the Israelites and the place will be consecrated by my glory. So I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar and will consecrate Aaron and his sons to serve me as priests. Then I will dwell among the Israelites and be their God. They will know that I am the Lord their God who brought them out of Egypt so that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. Make an altar of acacia wood for burnt incense. It is to be square, a cubit long and a cubit wide, and two cubit high. Its horn of one piece with it. Overlay the top and all the sides and the horns with pure gold. And make a gold molding around it. Make two gold rings for the altar below the molding, two on each of the opposite side to hold the poles used to carry it. Make the poles of Achaia wood and overlay them with gold. Put the altar in front of the curtain that shares the altar of the covenant law before the atonement cover that is over the tablet of the covenant law, where I will meet with thee. Aaron must burn fragrant incense on the altar every morning when he tends the lamb. He must burn incense again when he lights the lamb at twilight, so incense will burn regularly before the Lord for the generations to come. Do not offer on his altar any other incense or any burnt offering or grain offering, and do not pour a drink offering on it. Once a year, Aaron shall make atonement on its horn. 
This annual atonement must be made with the blood of the atoning sin offering for the generation to come. It is most holy to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, When you take a census of the Israelites to count them, each one must pay the Lord a ransom for his life at the time he is counted. Then no plague will come on them when you number them. Each one who crosses over to those already counted is to give a half shekel according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs 20 geras. This half shekel is an offering to the Lord, and all who, all who cross over those 20 years old or more are to give an offering to the Lord. The rich are not to give more than a half shekel, and the poor are not to give less than you make the offering to the Lord to atone for your lives. Receive the atonement money from the Israelites and use it for the service of the tent of meeting. It will be a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord, making atonement for your lives. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze basin with its bronze stand for washing. Place it between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet with water from it. Whenever they enter the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water so that they will not die. Also, when they approach the altar to minister by presenting a food offering to the Lord, they shall wash their hand and feet so they will not die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants for the generation to come. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take the following five spices, 500 shekels of liquid meal, half as much, that is 250 shekels of fragrant cinnamon, 250 shekels of fragrant calamus, 500 shekels of cassia, all according to the sanctuary shekel, a hint of olive oil. Make this into sacred anointing oil, a fragrant blend, the work of a perfumer. It will be sacred anointing oil. Then use it to anoint the tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant law, the table and all its articles, the lampstand and its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering and all its utensils, and the basin with its stand. You shall consecrate them so that you they will be most holy, and whatever touches them will be holy. Anoint Aaron and his son, and consecrate them so that they may serve me as priests. Say to the Israelites, This is to be my sacred anointing oil for the generation to come. Do not pour it on anyone else's body, and do not make any other oil using the same formula. It is sacred, and you are to consider it sacred. Whoever makes perfume like it and puts it on any one other than a priest must be cut off from the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take fragrant spices, gum raisin, onisha, and garbanon, and pure frankincense, all in equal amount, and make a fragrant blend of incense, the work of a perfumer. It is to be salted and pure and sacred. Grind some of it to powder and place it in front of the ark of the covenant law in the tent of meeting. Where I will meet with you, it shall be most holy to you. Do not make any incense with this formula for yourselves. Consider it holy to the Lord. Whoever makes incense like it to enjoy its fragrance must be cut off from the people. Thanks for joining us today. Please join us another day for another exciting edition of Sight and Sound. God bless you. Thank you.